Once again, I have had a week that is much too full of work and not. It's no, 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 dude, you don't do it. Just no, 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 dude. We are not going to speak of this. Uh, where was I? It's a sign. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bless you. Where was I? Fuck, I forgot I forgot my train of thought. As or more like missed it, as it so often often happens. So yeah, I have had a week that's far too full of work and not enough play. And now I haven't got a clue what my plan was. Oh We were going to walk into a bar, weren't we? Oh, hi. I have a card now, Mr. Robotic Bounce of Person, <laughs> sir. Let me see that. Good. You may enter. <gasps> <gasps> wow, um, neat trick. Thank you. I have a patron. Personal transportation unit. A very useful device. I don't suppose I could borrow your patron? No chance whatsoever. Damn. This reminds me, let's get music a little bit lower. Uh. <laughs> oh, hello. Also, whoa, disco. I still have no idea if the whole kryptonite gambit pays off in any way. Looks like a fembot who works at the rubbish dump going by the hat. Oh! It looks like she could dance all night at this tempo. <laughs> Probably all century. I know mean, she's pretty fast. He's really burning up the dance floor. <laughs> like a disco inferno. <laughs> I don't get it. How does the head of this bot stay on this little <laughs> thing? <laughs> Yo! Hello there! <laughs> it's a football on top of a football. El Bobby says, don't even bother looking for a loo in the rover bar. There isn't one. Drink scum light! <laughs> Ugh, I don't know how anyone can bear to drink that stuff. At least, not unless it's washed down with a couple of large pizzas. Shit, now I'm hungry. Coming soon! There's a hole in my galaxy! Hmm, <laughs> intriguing. It's advertising a new song by Marvin and the Paranoid Android. <laughs> it's called, Shall I Put My Head in a Bucket Now? Nice. What's the point? Uh, wait, what's that? What's that? E e e. Oh, we can't read that. Can we go back there? <gasps> Ooh, we are flashing blue! What's that about disco lights? There's nothing more to see. It says this way to the competition area. I can't take it with me. Okay, so <clears throat> I I know I promised to let it go, but this is exactly the kind of solution that is missing from the bazaar. Some something that draws your attention that draws your cursor to the point where you will find out that oh you can do something here. Oh hello It looks like he's on some kind of bender. It looks like he's on some kind of bender. You don't say it looks like he's on some kind yeah. of well, better leave him alone. Oh it's a robotic DJ. Why hasn't he been replaced by a MyPod? Must be a Robo Union job. Hello. He looks busy mixing the tracks or doing whatever robotic <laughs> DJs do. Oh, he's got a cool hat and everything. Is that a TARDIS? There's 
Nothing <laughs> more to see. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I guess we should just move along. Uh, okay, that's the same thing. That's outside. That's some other. Can we go into this box? Oh, we can! Okay. Impressive! Uh, oh dear, are we gonna make some music? with it. <laughs> I'm really not sure what I can do with that. Uh, lean on it in a nonchalant uh, pose, Very maybe? Robots don't need to sit, which I guess explains the presence of all these other shaped table thingies. <gasps> Where did the can go? It's a robot, much like any other robot. Oh, here it is. Hello there. <laughs> Obviously more of a drinker than a talker. Do you come here often? Hello there. Obviously more of a drinker than a talker. Robots don't need to sit, which I guess... Okay. Can we go that way? No. Hello. Hello there. Hello. Hey, catch your music. Yes, it's called Electric Tequila. <laughs> awesome name. You think so? I think it's stupid. <laughs> well, you would, wouldn't you? You obviously don't have style, good taste, and a sense of humor built into your system. Dude! Hmm, fair comment. Can we commiserate? You don't have any hands, or arms, or any appendage at all that I can see. I know. I just telepathically receive orders from Frank and teleport them over. Ah, oh. so that's what's oh, up yes. with these. Yes, it does. But it gives me time to ponder the great mysteries. What, like digital watches, like the universe and everything? No, great <laughs> mystery that I ponder is this. Why that face? What face? Exactly. <laughs> okay, well, I want to do thing. one thing before You're we go on. Yes. Always come back. Yes, we will. Uh, let's get the music even lower. Also, did the music re music volume reset when we returned to this room? That might happen. Right. Now, let's make a save here. Save, save, save. Because I I have I have seen a tweet and a screenshot from another player who might have, uh, I think they had some trouble in the bar, like with items and triggers and whatnot. So I shouldn't actually dig around as much as I do. Yo. Hello there. How is stranger? <laughs> also, do I recognize one of the voice actors from Neo Future? Um, maybe. Have you actually solved any of the great mysteries? Oh yes, most of them. I still can't work out the Bermuda Triangle though. <laughs> or the game Snakes of Avalon. Well, I guess some mysteries are just supposed to stay mysteries. Oh, this is a Have you actually question. solved any? Oh yes, I still can't or the game. Well, I guess. Okay. Anything interesting happening at the moment? Just the usual bunch of terminally depressed or hyperactive robots. Still, we do have an unusual visitor. Ooh. And a robo music competition with very weird rules. Tell me more. You have an unusual visitor? Wow, that sounds exciting. Not too much. 
You are the unusual <laughs> We don't get too many organics in here. Oh, why not? Well, they don't like the drinks, or the music, or the company, or Ouch. the decor. I can't see much wrong with any of those. Well, as I said, you are unusual. <laughs> uh, I got nothing. <laughs> What's weird about the Robo Music Competition rules? You'll have to speak to the competition judge if you want to enter. It's just over to the right. You'll find out about the rules then. Okay, okay. Uh, can we get a drink? Drop me, barkeep. I don't really have anything in stock you'd like. Try me. I'm very adventurous. <laughs> well, okay. How about some lovely castor oil? Uh, Whee! maybe not. Take it, take it, take it. Well, I'll be off then. You'll be back. They always come back. Take it, take it, take it. Okay, let's... I'll take this with me. Yes. Okay, uh, let's save because I understand that this is the... This is the bit that can prove problematic. All. Alright, oh, I need to click here. Alrighty, patron, 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 patron. Yeah, I don't suppose I can get any of these. Hmm, they have quite a lot of stock, but not much actual choice. By the looks of things, it's mostly synth or castor oil. I wonder... <laughs> that, that's some disco right there. I wonder... Does the competition have a prize? Hello there. Rude. <coughs> Hello. I want to talk, but the robot... Just loves to dance. He wants to dance. He loves to dance. He's got to dance. That's probably a reference, but I don't know what. Off. Uh, let's go talk to the judge then. Yo. Um, hello? I am Reflecto Matrix. The Robo Music Judging Computer, formerly known as Glitz. Glitz? Glitz was the Robo Music Judging Computer, now known as Reflecto Matrix. <laughs> ah, I see. Ah. Robo Music? Music by or for robots, typically electropop, synth, or techno in style. But whatever robots make or like listening to is called Robo Music. There's a robo music competition on at the moment. There is indeed. Whee! Would you like to enter? Uh, what do I have to do? Simply create some robo music. If it is judged the best of those entered within the time limit, you win. Great, I suppose. What's the prize? <gasps> 20,000 galactic credits. Nice. Uh, I would like to enter the Robo Music Competition. I am very happy to hear it. Here are 20,000 galactic <coughs> credits. Please take them. Um, I haven't won yet. Oh, we give all our entrants the prize money. But if you don't win, <gasps> you have to give it back. That's insane. Mm, I think I like it though. <laughs> what makes a good Robo Mix song? It's very simple. A strong, steady beat, a fast background rhythm, and a catchy melody. Better write that down. <laughs> you give 20,000 galactic credits out just like that, to anyone who happens to enter. We do, incidentally. That's the exact amount of money needed to buy a Grandmaster 6000 speeder. Oh come on, we are not that fake. Not really. The prize money is put up by the manufacturers of the Grandmaster 6000. We also have a deal with the local shopkeepers so that they won't sell anything to people who entered the Robo Music Competition. Oh. People invariably have to buy the Grandmaster 6000 because they can't buy anything else with it, and they don't want to leave the planet in case they don't win. What happens if you leave the planet before the result is known? Actually, you can't do that anyway. Let me guess. You have a deal with the customs official. <laughs> we do indeed. 
So people buy the speeder, haven't got the money to pay you back when they lose, and then what? They are trapped in an eternal cycle of higher purchase and money lending. <laughs> we have a deal with the local banker and also the speeder saleswoman. Wow, that is so hideously sneaky. <laughs> but also rather clever. There is a drawback, however. And you would tell me this because... I need your help. Ooh, interesting. Uh, let's listen to some songs first. Can I hear entry number one? Are you sure? <laughs> yes, I need to know what I'm up against. That was interesting. <laughs> that is indeed one word for it. Can I hear entry number two? If you insist. Oh, this is quite good. What? What was that? Only the composer knows, possibly. <laughs> Can I hear entry number three? I really couldn't recommend <laughs> it. Go on. It can't be that bad. <laughs> ah! My ears are bleeding! I did warn you. <laughs> what makes a good Robamix song? A strong, steady, a oh. fast back, and a... Okay, we already asked that. Let's see then. So... What help do you need from me? I need you to actually win the competition. <gasps> you see... No pressure! People have cottoned onto our scam. Therefore, the only entrants have been people who not only don't want to leave Acturus 1 and did want the worst speeder on the market, but they also were clever enough to make their entry so bad that no winner would be declared. <laughs> I am unable to declare a winner until an entry meets a certain minimum standard. Uh. So you need me to win and you can start collecting on the other three entrants? Exactly. It all sounds rather unethical. <laughs> That's business for you, I'm afraid. What's in it for me? <laughs> I hear that you need someone to vouch for you so that the customs official will let you communicate with your ship. How would you know that? I have my sources. Oh. I have many sources. So what All you're the saying sources. is that if I win the competition, someone might vouch for me. Very true. Because I would be famous. Possibly. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. <coughs> Thank you. Me? How old do you think I am? Doesn't matter. Come here. <gasps> uh -oh. Hello there. What's up? You look well, good. Yeah. Too true. Not only do they make me play the same track over and over again, I'm tired of all these soft drinks the bar keeps serving. I want a real drink. Something harder than anything the bar serves. I'm talking Ooh. about the blue nectar too. I'm talking about the kind of drink that would make Robocop wince. I'm talking about the type of drink that would make a Terminator think twice. Enough already with the movie references, I guess the picture. <laughs> I'm talking about something so lethal to robots that they won't even allow it in here. Though, I suspect a few patrons manage to suddenly suddenly in sometimes by spiking their ordinary drinks with it. Ooh. What is this amazing substance of which you speak? Water? Is it under Gonzoli and Uber wine? No. Is it wicked strength lager? Water. No. Don't repeat what I'm about to say. Water. It's, I can't even say it out Water. Someone might hear. Water. H. Two. O. Told ya. H. Two. O. You mean just plain water is your water. amazing drink? <laughs> Not so loud, dude! But seriously, Ooh. water? Water. Think about it. Robots. Made of metal. Water. Rust. Not a good combination. I see. 
so I have to ask, why do it? <laughs> In certain control now, it's not too big. But man, it's such a circuit rush. Mm -mm -mm. It sent you to another place. You want me to get some for you? If you could. I might go crazy for a few seconds, but it would be totally worth it. I'll see what I can do. I wonder if he goes crazy, will he produce some swell sounds for us? Is it legal? <coughs> of course it's legal. Who you think I am? Ten out Tony. You organics might just think of it as an energy drink with lots of caffeine. Caffeine is lethal in hot rooms. He didn't know that. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Do I look Actually, yes. Mm. You don't look very serious at all. Okay. Goodbye. Later. Later. <gasps> Whoa, so not only we not only do we have like one objective, we have like two major objectives here. We better leave him alone. I should save actually. Save. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What are <laughs> Oh yeah, the music levels do reset. Okay, so this seems to be a thing that happens with Adventure Game uh, Studio in general. I had the same thing happen in Neo Feud. Every time after a uh, after a quick uh, not quick time uh, after a cutscene or, or something like it, the music levels would. Uh, would reset to maximum, not the one that I had actually set them to. Anyway, I wanted to talk to the bartender. Hello there. Howdy, stranger. Howdy. Okay. Have you actually solved any of the great mysteries? Oh yes, most of them. I still can't work for Okay, okay. Bye. Have you actually solved any of the great mysteries? Oh yes, I wait, still wait, can't wait, work wait, 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 wait. I'll, well, be off. I'll be off then. Bye. Back. They always come back. Right, let's go outside. Already there. Yeah, but outside. Already there. Oh, does it mean I can't even go outside anymore? Okay, in that case, let us promptly acquire. Let's not. Just in case the store operates a touch must buy policy. Let's acquire the speeder and open up the way to the garbage dump. Hello. I've come to buy the Gruntmaster 6000 speeder. An exceptionally poor choice. Still, a sale is a sale, I suppose. There's a blue speeder waiting for you when you need it. <gasps> Whee! I don't want to touch that. Now I wonder, how do we get water in there? <gasps> I don't know how to use these things Aww. together. But it would be fun! Nothing. Oh! Rhythm melody. So, how do we actually get any what of the music from this? Games this could Alas, cruel monsters of fate. Why do you try to make me <laughs> spiky things? <laughs> because. Cruel okay, let's take that speeder to the garbage. I think we need our quad quarter to get. She said that maybe. mine is waiting for me oh. outside when I need it. I'll use it when I want to go to the rubbish dump. Okay, so this is just a display thingy. We can now go to the gar 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 dump heap. The dump. 
Okay, uh, I think we have achieved so much that uh, I need to wrap up this episode before I get a hernia or something. We shall continue in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Also, I will save the game because I want to begin each episode with the epic, pulpy Captain Disaster music. So, I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye!